Hi again. I'd like to continue making this uh, to do to do app here, and uh, so far, here's what we have. I've got my app here, and the uh, you know the cells have this little check mark, right? It's got some notes here. You can add a new item here, and what I'd like to do right now is I'd like to style the. Um, the add to do view okay so right now there's no style at all really it's just the default stuff so let's go back to Xcode and to storyboard and the add to do view is this one and what I'd like to do is I'd like to set the background color and then kind of create kind of a kind of a outline around these two um, text input fields so First of all, let's uh, let's go to our our property inspector here, and uh, <clears throat> and if I click on the background here, you can see every view has a background view. This is sort of a container view, and all the other elements go inside it. So you can see it listed here. So why don't we get that and let's set the background color? Okay, so here's the background color here, and you know I'll just set this to uh, kind of a medium gray or maybe a dark gray there right and that looks okay and now what I want to do is I want to create um, kind of another shade like a lighter gray for the two input fields right and these you can't really do a lot with the style of these um, you know let me click on this guy again right you know it's got these outlines like I can do the square outline or the other boxy outline or no outline at all and if I go to this one and then I set the background color like this that's fine but the problem is you know when I test this any moment now oh there we go so when it, when I test this the um, the text here doesn't look that great. I want like a little more space around the outside, right? And so I can't really control that. And the outline, you really can't set the outline here either. So here's what I'm gonna do, okay? I'm gonna go and make my own sort of outline for these text boxes, okay? And how I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna use an image and I have this image here, it's just a square with some rounded corners, right? And so I'm gonna drag that image into my project and I'll choose uh, copy items if needed and click finish. And there's my, there's my image now in Xcode. And uh, then I'm going to turn this into a sliced image where I can size it to any size, right? So I'm going to go to uh, Image XC Assets, right? And at the bottom here, there's a little plus button right there. It says Add a Group or Image Set, okay? So I'll click on that, and then it gives me a little menu here, and I'm going to choose Import from Project because my image is in the project right here. So I'll choose that. And then it shows me all the images in my project, and you can uncheck images that you don't want to include in the XC assets. I'm going to just leave this checked and click Import. And now um, my, my image shows up here, right? So there's the image, and so I'll click on it. And what I want to do is down on this corner here, the, the lower right side, at the very bottom, it says Show Slicing. So I'll click on that, and then it'll allow me to slice this image. So I'm going to click on this Start Slicing. And you can slice just horizontally or vertically. I'm going to do it in both directions, and those will be my slices. And now what's going to happen is this middle area here can either be tiled or stretched, and the corners remain unchanged. So we can stretch this or shrink it to any size, you know, within the, the radius of the corner, right? So, uh, so that's good. Now we're, we're done. Okay, so we'll save that. And then I'm going to go back to my, my view here, and I'm going to get the, 
UI image view here. And I'll drag that into my view. And what I want to do is, uh, you know, I'll size this so it fits in the view. Like this, maybe it should be about that big. And then I'll choose the image for the background here as the name of my image there, text field back. Okay. And, uh, and then what I want to do is I want to put this underneath the text field. So for right now, I'm going to just drag it on top like this. And maybe I'll move this one down a little bit. And then I'll click on this and the first one here. Right, there we go. And then I'll nudge them down a little bit. Oops. Um, and I'll just drag them like that, right? Okay, and I, I already have some constraints in here, so I'm going to have to adjust those too. So now I have a problem where my text field is behind the, the image view. So I'll just drag the image view up here to rearrange the stacking. And, you know, I, like I said, I want a little more space here so the text doesn't go right up to the edge of the box. So I'll drag this in a little bit, right? And, uh, and then what I'm going to do is I want to make this text field transparent so we don't see the background, right? So, uh, and then I'll have to update my, my constraints too. So let's fix that. So I'm going to click on the, uh, the image view, um, set some constraints here. I'm going to uncheck this constraint to margins, maybe, and then I'll just set the... Uh, the size there, it'll be distance to top, left and right, and then I'll choose the height. Okay, so left space, right space, top and height should should kind of size this nicely. And then now for this view, I want to um, update constraints maybe. And then that'll, that should be pretty good. And then the last step here is I'll choose the border style as the first one here. And um, and that should hide the border. Oh, I guess I got to do one more thing. And we got to set the background color here. We got to remove that. So uh, my last step then is going to be this. There we go. And so now, um, I guess actually, you know, I probably got to do one more thing too. Let's put some text in here. So this will be some text and maybe you know that color is not that great maybe we should go with uh, white or very light gray and maybe i can even make the font a little bit bigger there how about that that looks pretty good so uh so yeah that looks a lot better than it did before maybe i could even move this in just a little bit more um but you get the idea so i'm using the um the sliced image to set a background right um, so I'll update constraints there and save, and then we'll test it out. And I can do the same to the next text field. Let's see. So we'll click Add here. Yeah, well, that looks pretty good. And then I can type in there. Hello, typing. There, and save it, right? So there it shows up. Okay, so anyway, there you go. And then, you know, I'll leave the second one for you to do on your own, um, but you could follow the same procedure. Okay, thanks.